Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a weekly reading for Capricorn from 30th of September to the 6th of October 2019. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. If you'd like a personal reading, please go to my website jessmud.co.uk and book a reading. I've put the decks that I'm using in the description box and I've put in links to Amazon and eBay so please follow these links to view or to buy the decks. Uh, and don't forget to watch my video series on uh, energy healing remedies, my deck walkthrough series, as well as my uh, videos on um, gemstones and crystals. And so like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. Now I'm starting off with a general energy read and then I will do the general tarot read for you afterwards. I'm using the Gypsy Witch for the... Um, energy read today so the first card is the key uh, it seems like uh, you know you're starting something brand new over here solutions are coming in for you uh, you've got this four of clubs which is like the four of rods this is about stability coming in over here and celebrating something so something is you're finishing some kind of project you're getting solutions up uh, um, to dealing with issues and you are finishing off some kind of project you may have started it off and this is the first phase that you're coming uh, that's coming to an end so you are um, you know celebrating in some sort of way over here and it's something to do with the work situation you've got the anchor over there you have come through a, a period of loss or lack uh, you know where there's been some financial problems but the job seems to be much more stable and whatever problems uh, it, you have been facing you it seems like solutions are coming in for you over there you still feel very very restricted very tied up you've got the mountain card over here so overcoming a lot of obstacles uh, and trying to get through the situation uh, feeling very trapped within this particular situation as well now in the past you've got that uh, star card over there and you've also got uh, the park now with the star this is about success coming in over here uh, you had to make some kind of decision as well about what you wanted to do and uh, you know it looks like uh, whatever you've made whatever choice you've made has brought in some kind of recognition for you over there you're dealing with a lot of people as well there's a lot of problems that you're sorting through so uh, whatever job you're doing it seems to be ha to deal with um, you know uh, liaising with a lot of people maybe on an international basis and they do present a lot of problems for you we've got that nine of clubs over there so having to deal with all these little petty issues maybe little struggles that you're dealing with on a daily basis and this can be very very tiring as well now going into the future you've got the nine of swords of or the nine of spades there together with the six of um clubs and you've got that uh, lightning bolt over there so with the nine of swords over there is being very trapped feeling very very anxious about a situation thinking things are really good but then these roses have thorns here so whatever looks you know whatever the situation was did seem very rosy in a sense but there's a lot of problems and little issues that are cropping up, little niggles that seem to be popping up and this is causing some anxiety for you there and it might be to do with you know the people that you're dealing with they, they're presenting little problems or little obstacles that is stressing you out a bit over there you are going to be finding solutions to it so you know just try and relax don't try don't be too anxious about situations there's some information coming in for you over there with a the lightning uh, bolt but this could be a very dramatic change in events that come in as well. With that six of clubs, this is about, uh, you know, dealing with issues, um, sorting things out and being victorious after dealing with a lot of problems. So there still seems to be a lot of issues that you have to sort out, a lot of people that you have to deal with. And these are, you know... Um, it seems like there's almost like conflict uh, going on, a lot of arguments going on over there, and uh, things are being said. Something is going to come to light that is going to be a bit, um, you know, um, it's going to bring a sudden change or it's going to be uh, something that throws you for a loop, should I put it that way, because it's the lightning bolt. So it's something that comes out of the blue, something you never expected. Uh, but you're going to be able to sort through it because you've got that six of clubs. So this is about getting through those issues and being victorious in this particular situation. So try not to let whatever issues that are going on at work stress you out too much. You need to uh, take it in your stride, really. Um, you know, Try not to let it get to you and try not to let it give you too much of anxiety. Uh, count to 10 every time this happens, you know, uh, take a deep breath and count to 10 really. Do some meditation, that's always a good thing uh, as a stress buster. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the um, Tarot of the Sweet Twilight.
So the bottom of the deck, you've got the Six of Cups over there and you've got the Knight of, Knight of Swords. So it seems like you have walked away from a very difficult situation there with that Knight of Swords. You can see he's turned his back and he's moving forward and you are following your own path. It seems like you've left somebody behind or has left a situation behind. You're speaking your truth for sure. Uh, maybe uh, you know, you're know you not allowing anybody to take advantage of you as well. It seems like you dealt with some kind of big issue there. You've got that big bear uh, and somebody who is a, very much a bully. Uh, maybe you've had to deal with that kind of p uh, person. Uh, you might have even um, you know, left an old relationship, somebody that you were with for a long time, but they've turned out to be somebody who bullies you quite a bit, and you know, you've been feeling a bit overwhelmed in that particular situation. Uh, you might be even thinking about moving home, buying a new home somewhere else and moving on. So that's been playing on your mind over there. Maybe that's been what's been happening with you. You've got the Hanged Man over here and the King of Wands. So you could well be dealing with a fire sign energy over there with that King of Wands. Somebody who has been giving you a lot of grief. Uh, this person can be a bit of a bully. Uh, the f uh, King of Wands is somebody who doesn't really care what happens to you and, uh, you know, um, maybe um, takes advantage of you. This could be somebody that you're working with, somebody who is not listening to you. Um, but this could also be a relationship, and if it is a relationship, this could be a fire sign, like, it's like an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy coming through over there. So you can see the hearts are all in the background over there. So they really, and this person's the King of Wands, back is turned to the hearts. So it's like they um, they don't want to listen to what your concerns are. They don't really give you the time of day, and they don't really um, care what you think or how you feel. Uh, they seem to have turned your back. There seems to be some kind of decision as well that... Um, uh, is being faced over here. So if this is your energy coming through as the King of Wands, you might need to turn your back on any emotional turmoil that you're going through and make a decision, a conscious decision about making a move and moving forward, really. Taking control of that particular situation. Right now, things are very much at a standstill. You might be feeling as though you're you, know, you can see this person's catching butterflies or catching flies, as they say. So you might be feeling as though things are not moving on. You might be thinking of actually doing some training or further studying because things are not moving on. And, you know, you might be dealing with a very difficult person on the work front over there. But you also might be thinking about, uh, um, you know, doing some kind of further training so that you can get a promotion uh, and, and move on from this particular situation. There is somebody around you that is bullying you a bit. Uh, because you can see that with that Six of Cups, um, you know... Uh, this person's down on their knees. Um, so you could be dealing with somebody who is that uh, king of wands who is pretty much a bully. So you, a very, very difficult energy. And you're feeling very, very, very stuck in that particular situation. A feeling as though you're sacrificing quite a bit and things are not moving on for you there. There might be a need for you to do some further research or you know, into looking into something different as well uh, with that hangman. But things are pretty much stuck at the moment there. You've got the Nine of Pentacles over here. So this is about financial independence, you know, uh, finding your pathway in life. You can see there's a road going on over there. Uh, so, you know, you are uh, um, somebody who is um, looking out for yourself, uh, you know, managing things by yourself. You might be doing a lot of travel as well with the Nine of Pentacles uh, that involves work. Uh, but you're certainly... Um, you know, uh, very, very financially independent over there and working pretty hard as well uh, to get that coin in and maybe doing a lot of travel, like I said. You've got the Ace of Pentacles. It seems like you may have started a new, a brand new job as well. So that's brought in some financial independence, uh, but you're very, very focused on that coin. So something brand new has started up for you. And uh, maybe at the beginning stages, people are, you know, trying to, it may have been a promotion as well because you've got that king of pentacles, um, king of uh, wands over there. So whatever it is, maybe you were stuck in a, in a particular position, a new job offer has come in or a new promotion has come in and you're now in charge of this particular situation. You still, maybe in the past you have been dealing with somebody who was very, very much a bully and you cut ties with that particular old job or that particular situation and moved on and started something brand new over there with that ace of coins. But new money has come in over there. You're certainly, you've got the Emperor card over here. So this is about taking control and being in charge. So this could be, have been a promotion, but it could be in a situation where you are pretty much a leader, uh, taking uh, charge of, or uh, managing people or managing resources over there. So you have to strike a balance between people treating you, taking you seriously, or people, you know, ignoring what you've got to say. You've got those two elements going on over there. Uh, maybe you feel people are not listening to whatever you've got to say. Uh, so you need to actually show them uh, that, you know, you have the authority and you know exactly what you're talking about. 
You've got the Hierophant over here. So the Hierophant is usually by maybe getting some advice, but this could also be in a position that you're taking on some kind of position where you're uh, a teacher, somebody who's training up people, uh, giving advice to people. Um, you know, you're giving some kind of advice uh, that's very professional. So uh, people are coming to you as an expert uh, and asking you for uh, advice or that work that you're doing, you're giving some kind of expertise. Uh, uh, you know, you are well versed in it. So um, you are um, giving advice that is very unique to you or that you're an expert at with that Hierophant card. That coming in for you. Uh, on the other hand, this could be, you know, you're training up people, but still giving out expertise, uh, advice. So training up people, uh, managing people over there, but, you know, sending them off with more than they came in with. So uh, a lot more information going out from you as well. You could also be, uh, you know, thinking about going back to school as well with the Hierophant card. So this is a card about learning uh, institutions like universities and that, um, colleges. So you could be even thinking about going and doing further training for the um learning as well, joining an institution where you're learning some something. Um, you've got the Five of Cups over here. So uh, the Five of Cups is generally a card about being disappointed with things not turning out the way you wanted it to, maybe crying a little bit too much. So you, you seem to be still spending a lot of time by yourself there, uh, you know, ignoring the world in a little bit, maybe isolating yourself from everybody else, maybe just still crying over the things that didn't work out for you over there. Now you need to look at the opportunities that are still available to you. And they, they are, uh, you know, a fair bit. Um, there is a room for growth and stability for you um, and you need to stop isolating yourself from everybody else and stop crying uh, about everything that had happened to you so stop rem reminiscing about the past it's not a good thing really it's bringing you down making you feel depressed and it's making you feel lonely as well you've got the strength card over here so uh, there's a need for you to be bold in all your moves take control of that situation and whatever person is bullying you you can see this person you know you're being bullied over here you need to be you need to turn the tables on that situation uh, you know um, this woman's taken off this mask so stop pretending everything is okay and stop pretending that you know you're you're okay with being bullied you need to actually take that uh, mask off about being somebody who will accept uh, being pushed uh, around and you need to show you need to roar like a lion in other words so if anybody's bullying you around you need to turn the tables and you have to show them that you have got the power and the strength to deal with it so don't be in two minds about your strength with this emperor card is almost like he's in two minds about the his abilities about you know showing he's about reluctant uh, to show his strength almost uh, you need to take off that mask about um, you know letting people walk all over you and you need to show them that you are a very powerful person this is very very important with the strength card now on your um, hopes and fears you've got the empress card so you are emerging from a very difficult emotional situation she you can see she's coming out of the water you're taking control of that situation you've got she's got the world in her hand you're taking control of your uh, you know emotions as well you she, she's got the heart on her face as well as on her head so you know get a uh, uh, um, control of uh, any kind of negative feelings, negative emotions, and know that you have the power to actually sort the situation out. So it is about it is time for you to take a new stand, because you are sitting and crying over things that happened. So you know it's it's time for you to say, um, you know, you have the the power, and you are empowered, and you can actually get over this particular situation. You got the Queen of Cups over here, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles. So, with the Queen of Cups, you can see she's crying so much um, and, you know, feeling very, very lonely, very, very isolated, uh, feeling a bit miserable, looking at the past a lot of there. So, uh, this energy is very negative and it is very, very isolating as well. You've got that Five of Cups as well as the Queen of Cups and both these cards are about crying a lot. And it is time, you know, with that Empress card to let go of all that emotional upset and start taking charge start emerging you need to put an end of that to that relationship so you're crying over that relationship or whatever it was maybe you're financially dependent on this particular person it might have been a divorce that you came through uh, you need to end that everything is finished and done with uh, there's closure to this particular financial situation or closure to this particular situation it's not going to be easy you've got a lot of steps to climb over here so there is it's going to be a gradual change you will recover from whatever you've gone through but you know um, the first step uh, is is the beginning uh, um, 
of the journey. So you know, if you make that first step, uh, you will be moving in the right direction. So you do need to let go of that past and move on, and uh, you need to focus more on your work and focus more on yourself. You need to put in. You know, it's not going to come naturally if you don't work on, on changing your your viewpoints. Um, you know, things will not change. So you do need to make uh, that uh, concerted effort to change. Having said that, if this is about work, then it looks like you know you've ended an old job situation. Whatever you're going to be doing now, it's about teaching and it's about learning with that Eight of Pentacles. And you've got the Hierophant card over there as well, a card ruled by Taurus. This is also about learning. So whatever job you're doing, it's going to be where you're giving out expertise or you are retraining or learning something new. You're specializing in that particular field and you're very, very focused on that work as well. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the... Um, Angel Tarot for the main uh, oracle read. So the first card is the Nine of Air and expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecies, sleepless nights. So you are still very, very stressed out and you do need to let go of that stress. This energy is not a good energy and you need to stop being negative about whatever's coming in for you. You've got the five of fire, so competing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others. So there is a situation where there's a lot of conflict conflict competition going on over here it's a very difficult situation you might be dealing with a lot of difficult people as well uh, because you've got this five of fire five of rods and you can see all the swords are crossed so you know you are um, all the rods are crossed rather so you are, are butting heads with a lot of people over there um, you know and, and this is a card that usually says pick your bat battles wisely the nine of fire says don't give up protect yourself and have the courage and believe in yourself and it's similar to that strength card so you need to be very bold be very courageous, defend yourself, and stand up for yourself. And don't let anybody take advantage of you there. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.